Hey guys, it's Juice to Loving here, and today I'm going to show you how to highlight people's hair um, using Photoshop. So, go ahead and open up Photoshop. As you see, I have the shortcut right here. Any second now. Okay. Wait. Oh, I didn't know I, just, I had CS4. Huh. Okay, so just go ahead and open up Photoshop. And open up your internet browser. I use Firefox. Um. Okay. Oh, wait, never mind. I have a. Uh, I already have one minimized over here. There we go. Already got Google. <laughs> so, go ahead and go to Google Images and type in wavy hair or something like that. Just as long as they have. Okay, my keyboard's not working. Work, stupid keyboard. Work. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Um, so go and type in like wavy hair or something, and click enter. Um, there's a good picture. Just go ahead and open it up, minimize it, and drag it and drop it. And whenever you do, it should come up in the Photoshop program. I guess you'd say window. Um, uh, so what we're gonna want to do is click on this little box down here with a circle in the center of it, and go click on the paintbrush icon. And make sure you have a good size brush. Uh, let me just zoom in a little bit. Give me a second. Okay, there we go. Okay, so make sure you have a good size brush and just brush with the line of the hair. So with the curves left, curve the selection left. The hair curves right, curve the sec uh, selection right. You get the point. Um, this might actually take a while because you have to do a lot of this, a lot of these, or else it won't look good. You can't have like three highlights in a hair because that'd be looking really weird. But yeah, make sure you're like just follow some of the strands of hair and it'll work really well. Um, okay, any second now. <laughs> Uh, okay. Okay, so, um, now you're gonna wanna click that little box again and make sure the selection comes up. And go to select. Hold on, I can move that. Yeah, go to select. Um, no, that's not it. Uh, yeah, it's select. And go to inverse. And then go to uh, edit, copy, er, yeah, copy, and then edit, paste. Okay, so now what you don't want to do that you have that, and you will see that you have a little another layer, but it looks blank. Um, it's not. It's the selection. So go ahead and go to image. Um, I don't remember what that is. And go to hue and saturation. You can also press Control U for this. But, um, okay, now whenever you, uh, like, move that first little bar, as you can see, it kind of, like, highlights, puts highlights where you, uh, selected everything. Yeah. It's really cool, especially if you're, like, wanting highlights in your hair or something, but you don't want to do it, like, in real life. <laughs> or your parents won't like you or something. <laughs> yeah, pretty retarded. Um... Okay, I will see y'all guys later. I'll have more videos like this, I guess. Um, yeah. ETG311, signing out. I'll see y'all guys later. Rate, comment, subscribe.